Brakathia Hawa, 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 to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, which you well. Salutations to the whole for the elect out there. You are Kim to Kim. That do this thing in the utmost truth and sincerity. I'm the priest Shaman. I'm coming with a quick lesson on my lunch break. Entitled, You Reap What You Sow. And <clears throat> the inspiration for this show comes from the fact that a lot of people that have been um, lollygagging the past couple of years and pretty much half stepping on whether or not they want to do this thing seriously or playing with the doctrines of the Heavenly Father have been receiving heavy, severe judgment, right? Esau um, unrolled the catalyst, the coronavirus, COVID-19, to implement a police state to destroy the life of millions um, that owned businesses or was in debt or try to feed their family, increase his wealth. He's, you know, he's unrolling the next phase in the R radio frequency era. A lot of prophecies being fulfilled. A lot of people are on edge. And the ones that have not sown themselves in this word are now in panic, fear, turmoil, and seeing the judgment. Prime example, you have Tazadakia. Um, who called himself the comforter. You know, the most I had it to wear, look, he stood him up in jail, publicly humiliated him, and took him out with what they claim to be COVID-19. So that's the current claim on that. <clears throat> A lot of fallen angels, celebrities have dropped dead through the, throughout this uh, year. This year has been very heavy, very heavy. And the Most High is pretty much making people reap for the things that they've sown in the earth. Also, um, Bishop Nathaniel, Nate, Bishop uh, Nathaniel, is advising take vaccinations. You know, I stand with the apostles and not taking that. Absolutely not. Even if it's not having a microchip in it, I don't know what's in it. So I don't want that in my body and I wouldn't recommend anybody do that, you know. Even going back all the way to 2009 with the H1N1, I, I'm not taking that. I'm not big on vaccines. I work in an essential place, and if they say that, well, I'm ready to quit the job. But, you know, that lady, as the apostles mentioned, and, you know, she probably had makes triple my salary and, you know, worried about her family. But that's why the scriptures say it's, you know, easy for a camel to pass with the eye of a needle than a rich man to make it through heaven. And that's a man. Imagine a rich woman, right? It's even harder because women generally don't have faith. So I've been asking people a common consensus of would you take this vaccine or not? Jake is saying fuck no. I'm saying fuck no. I'm talking about Jake's that's not even in the truth. You know? Because hell no. But um, without further ado, let's jump into some scriptures. Make this quick to the point. Ecclesiastes 8 11. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. So, the apostles has been out there with the vehicle of the internet since 2007. So, the Most High gave us a little over a decade to get right, and certain people just did not take heed. Did not take heed, did not listen to the, the prophets of the, of the Heavenly Father, as usual. Every incarnation that the prophets have been there, it's only a small few that actually take heed and repent. They normally try to repent as it says in the book of Hosea 5 and 15, when affliction is coming near, when everything is smooth and easy and things are going good for them, the Lord is not on their mind. Jake seeks the most high when they're in jams. You know, they go to jail and they find the Lord. So they so they think, or oh, a situation like now, they, people in the world, I know for sure people, I'm telling you, people in the world is hitting me back up. So I could only imagine what's going on for brothers that's been doing this thing longer than myself or, you know what I'm saying? So... What's going to happen? And as things intensify, that situation is going to happen even more because this YouTube teaching thing is not going to last forever. Um, they, you know, they could shut the internet down. That's how, you know, push, push it on as many, many shows as possible, making sure you're right with the Lord. Because look, man, you know, they could, there's nothing, to, nothing for them to say cyber attack. We have to shut down the internet. Now what? You know? Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. So, 
in a nutshell, these niggas was not getting judgment and they continue on with their madness. So stand in general, Johanna. Look, man, the most I could paralyze you and not make you stand in no more. Bubble eye blackfish, you like to sing? The most I could judge you with the singing. Nathaniel, you like to travel? You can get judged for traveling. And look, man, Proverbs 16 and 1, this is the most I put in these words in my mouth. So the apostles, when they say take heed, we should all listen, man, you know? You got to understand, the most is not going to, he never comes down here himself and prophesy on the streets. He always has a mediator, you know? And time is proven now where the truth is at, who, you know, who's breaking down these things correctly. And that's the apostles and elders, the brothers, you know, that have the spirit and power of your help. But Shemuel Shad is teaching this thing cor correctly. So take heed to the prophets, you know. The elect will. Two-thirds won't. And we understand that. Um, Though a sinner do evil a hundred times. Yeah, so there was a lot of wicked-ass people in the world. You know, that scoffed at the, the, the prophets. Might have seen you on the streets talking about, oh, I remember you, what the fuck you doing out here wasting your life? Now they ass, now they stuck out, probably can't work, feeling the effects heavy. Now, you know, certain brothers are feeling the effects of this shutdown in different ways. You know, health concerns, financial concerns, mental concerns, you know, going through it a bit. But we know the most at the end of the day got us, you know. So I'm not saying we're not exempt from that, but I'm saying them devils... They getting it even worse. And the most I got more in store for those people, man. It says, though a sinner do evil a hundred times and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be well with him that fear the most high. So, you look, prime example, you, early in the year you had Kobe Bryant die, burn, smoke, terror, a whirlwind in a helicopter, just every possible angle of fear and torment, he experienced it. Before being dismembered and burnt to charcoal to the point where he's unrecognizable. That's the judgment and terror of the Heavenly Father. Why would you want to fuck with a power that could do that to you? That could, the scripture says, fear not man, but him that's able to destroy, um, you know, body and soul in hell. So don't fuck with the Most High and don't fuck with his men. And you saw what happened to Comfy. The Apostle of the Ricard said, look, back in the days... They came out, they got carnival brothers, and the scripture says, touch not my uh, my anointed ones and do my prophets no harm. And Israel has done that, man. You saw us do lessons on curses, man, how curses is spiritual power on a low level. So the Mosad makes intercessions for his prophets, man. And these people are getting judged right now for that, man. And the Mosad is using his, whip, his whipping stick, the modern-day Assyrian, the so-called white man. Though a sinner do evil a hundred times, and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear the Most High, which fear before Him. You know. So we trying to reap what we sow. Like, look, what are we? What are we sowing? We sowing the seed. We sowing the word. We we sowing this word in the earth right now, right? By sighing and crying. So let's link some scriptures together. Ecclesia, uh, Luke eight and eleven, real quick. Let's jump to that. Now the parable is this, the seed is the word of the most high, right? So we sow in the seed of the word, we sow in the word, how are we doing that, right? Let's go to Ezekiel now. We understand that the seed that we're sowing is the word of the most high. Ezekiel 9 and 4, this is how we sow it. Ezekiel 9 and 4, and the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahashai, said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh in Christ. So we're putting a nationality on them. We putting this word on them, because the mark there is the wall means exempt from judgment. We giving this word that's gonna make them be exempt from the judgments that's coming. The ones that have the word on them ain't gonna get caught up in this bullshit, man. The most is gonna have a hedge, Psalms thirty four and seven. And if they do get persecuted and put to death, that's gonna be for standing up against this man's system, and they're gonna be partakers in the coming salvation. It says, And the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahshai said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. What are some of the abominations? Homosexuality, transhumanism, um, transsexualism, blasphemies, false doctrines from those in the world and out of it. 
uh, and, and the truth, so to speak, that know that they're Israelites. It's just a lot of madness. You know, we're, we're setting up that hedge. And we're sighing and crying by sowing them seeds. Right? But guess what? There's going to come a re 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 reward, which is the kingdom. All right? Which is the ultimate joy. So we're, I'm going to go to Psalms. This lesson is a bit condensed again because I'm on my lunch break. So that's I'm trying to, you know. So Psalms 126 and 5, I believe. Right, so this is what we saw on now. Psalms 126 and 5. They that sow in tears, crying and sighing. By the way, this is a literal analogy. An actual farmer would kind of be... When you sow and you invest and you don't know what's going to happen, you know, you could either choose to, you could either take the seeds that you have now, feed your family with it by eating it right now, crushing it, making bread, or you could kind of put it in the ground. Not kind of, you put it in the ground and you don't know what's going to happen. If you're going to have a, uh, what type of manifold re return you're going to have when you invest it by uh, seeds in the ground. So you, it will be heavy on your mind, right? But this is what the, the Lord is saying. It's saying those that sow in tears, so this word, Shall reap in joy. So we're gonna be we right now. People are devastated and fucked up in their mind and all this type of shit. You know they want to bail out and all this. You know government saved me. We're like man, we don't need the government. We got the Lord. You know now if the government sent me a check. You best believe I'm gonna take that. You know, <laughs> right? But um, it says we don't. If let's say shit get full blown crazy in a week, we 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 speeding. We just want the most out of make. Things speed up even faster, you know? So when the white man is moving, we're not stopping him. You know? Let him print $8 trillion, $10 trillion in the society and collapse his economy. Let him set up his uh his next generation RFID. Set up do all, all, all that, man. Because at the end of the day, Romans 9 and 17. The most I setting you up for the ultimate destruction. So go ahead and move with your plan, man. Go ahead and move with your plan. And let the most I destroy you. Your police state, whatever you want to do, however you want to do it. You want to lock down this place for 18 months and destroy the dollar? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, you want to lock down this place for 18 months and let people suffer? And do whatever you got to do. You want to open it back up and put $10 trillion in the economy? Do that eat too. Whatever you do, you can't do nothing against prophecy because this place is going to go the hell down the drain, period, man. It says... Um, they that sow in tears shall reap in joy. So look, right now we're in rejoicing moment. While other people are in doom and gloom and worrying about this, that, we're actually rejoicing because we're saying, yes, man, Lord, you're on your way. You're letting these people suffer mentally. You know, you're bringing in that terror. A lot of people are having that fear. A lot of these camps are getting, that taught madness, are getting punished. Now, I'm not saying punish the whole congregation of the mother camps, right? You got to, everything, every time you say something, you got to clarify yourself. Because we do believe, and I believe, you know, we believe one body that, look, you have the elect sprinkled amongst all these groups, man. That's just the fact of the matter. So the ones that are sprinkled among them, you know, they start to just, whoa, you know, question things. Man, you know, this vaccine shit, the chip, Gray Mills don't talk about the chip. While this guy's talking about having a festive Passover, wait a minute, you know. So people are starting to rationalize things in their mind. So... Those are the elect members, man, that's going to leave that bullshit and say, look, man, look, you're not talking nothing serious right now. You know, every I'm just every minute I'm giving you two two thousand dollars in tights and shit ain't adding up. You know, you flying around doing these jet, jet visits and these types of stuff. And we in harsher times, you know, let's, you know, like, well, you know, give me proper information. Right. So guys are going to flock to that, you know, and that's what's happening. So the apostles have shown years and decades in this word brothers have been putting their videos put in their three weeks we we put the world behind us and put this truth first and we're about to get that reward for it man the kingdom so with that i'm gonna give all praises to yahweh bashim yahweh shah bashim rakako dash double honest to the apostles and the elders of great most want you well salutations to the hopeful elect out there you akim to sadakim that do this thing that most truth and sincerity shalom